All right, guys. What's up? Welcome back to part two of the Long Dark episode for today. Sorry about that. My neighbor called wanting <clears throat> to know if I needed some stuff. Uh, so we're in kind of a bad spot. I got this bear in between me and where I want to go. I do have this rock wall right here. I may be able to just walk up on it, take the rifle out, put him down real quick. I don't want to, but like he's in my way, and this may be the perfect opportunity to deal with him for a time, and I may be able to get a little bit of meat, I can take another bear hide over there and cure it, so it might not be the worst thing in the world, but before we do it, I'm definitely putting my vest on in case he somehow manages to get up to me, <clears throat> as long as we don't have to deal with hypersonic bear. Okay. Didn't quite go as planned, but we did it. <laughs> okay, I didn't really take much damage. Not my clothing fair. Ooh, my boots. My poor boots. Everything else is okay. <clears throat> Alright. So was not exactly what I had planned. Um, go up here and look for my rifle cartridges. I did not think he was going to take that many rounds. Collect my brass wherever it may have dropped. I got a little nervous. I started reloading. I was like, oh no, here he comes. There's my brass. Well, he's down. We ain't gonna do worry about him anymore. Being in my way. All right. Let's see. I dropped down. Backed up here. There's my other brass. Got him. Freaking bears, man. They always trying to kill me. Well, it's a good thing I brought all this firewood. We're going to have some fresh bear meat now. Oh, I do have soda. Hold on, where do those sodas go? There we are. I should have drank this first, I guess. Whoops. That's alright. Um, before I harvest him, let's check this boat. I'll go ahead and survey this dock. Bears down. We got a cabin over there to chill at, where I can boil water and <clears throat> take care of all the things. Looks like uh, no such luck in the old boat today. Let's do a double check around here. Hey, here's some wood matches. Okay, well, so that's a thing. 
Yeah, my neighbor's uh, he's over there burning some brush, and I got some brush to burn. And he just wanted to know if uh, if he if I wanted some of this oil to soak it with. To get it going, I was like, I got a lot of cardboard. I'll just stuff a bunch of cardboard in and around it to burn. Take the hide. I guess I'll take three. There we are. Dang, the birds find it already? We got feathers? I don't see no feathers, guys. All right, well, we got bear meat out here if I need more meat. I'm gonna go ahead and swap to my cleats, just in case there's any thin ice over here. I'm gonna kinda head that way and screw it around the side. <clears throat> so, I'm pretty sure, so like cannery's over there, you can't really see it. thought there's another fishing shack on the other side of this I think <clears throat> yeah I guess that's what I'm doing today is I'm I'm gonna be burning brush and boxes today in real life because we got like a nice rain last night and everything's wet so you want to catch the hills on fire out here that's what I've been waiting for. We've been piling up boxes like all winter in the garage. I gotta get rid of them. Our trash service out here is like rural trash service, you know? So we don't get like a big trash truck comes by. It's like a dude in a pickup truck. <clears throat> so we're only allowed like so many bags. And uh, almost everybody out here burns. Uh, a lot of their the brush. Plus, we had that big windstorm and knock a whole bunch of brush down. That's what we got piled up out there. Is all the tree limbs and stuff that broke off and fell down. We gathered them up, chopped them up, put them in a pile. We got to burn them off. That's just that's part of life out here in the woods. Just a thing that you gotta do. A lot of people don't know what it's like to live like way out here in rural America. <laughs> and up in the mountains is like uh, it's a whole nother animal, man. Like houses be like the mountains and stuff erode out here, and like sometimes if you build your house in a bad spot, or like some of these roads, like it erodes and washes away roads and houses there's so many houses over here that got taken over the hill and they got to come out and like ooh, there's quite a bit of stuff here I kind of wanted to check those boats but I guess is there not a stairway down to them all right I'll check them last no big deal I'm gonna go in here real quick I guess I should uh Went to the bathroom in between episodes. <laughs> it's nothing worse. I'm just I'm in a hurry to get everything done today. I still gotta work out after this, and then I gotta get get to this yard work. Ooh, this is a nice cabin. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna survey out here. Weather's final cleared up. Cannery worker residences. Okay. We got the bear cave over here. And another fishing shack here. Maybe that's the fishing shack that I saw through here. Oh, did I not survey at the freaking lighthouse? What? I swear I, I did, didn't I? Oh, that's a shame. Oh, well. All right, whatever. I got a fireplace in here, so we're going to... I'm going to burn this book. Driving gloves for leather. All right, I can't see anything. We're going to light a flare. I'll go ahead and use the flare to start the fire, too. Oh, 
Let's search this place. Work pants. Some potential rifle spawn. We got Mater suit, candy bar, more lantern fuel. Firewood. Just a sports vest and a pass. Old bedroll for cloth if we need it, I guess. Candy bar. Nothing there. Hey, rifle cartridge. Nice. Oh, and another flare. Dang it. <laughs> a flare to replace the flare that we used. Okay, that appears to be everything that I can see. We've got plenty of cloth curtains here. I can break down stuff for wood if I needed to. Alright, use some charcoal. Let's go ahead and start us up a fire. There's my, we got a lit flare, cattail head, book. I don't want to use my lamp oil. Because we're probably going to need it to explore the cannery. Since I'm down to only one other flare now. Alright. Boom shaka, boom shaka. That's three hours right there. I'm going to go ahead and do water on one slot first. Wait, what? No water. And then I'm going to cook up rabbit meat, because the rabbits, it's like pretty heavy for a small amount of calories, go ahead and eat that, I'll do the bear meat now, these are going to be done about the same time, I think I probably am going to end up using the rest of this wood, because we've got a lot of bear meat to cook and it takes a while to cook. some birch tea to try to recover some of our condition. Drink that. That's good stuff. Okay. So, looking mighty good. I may want to boil a little bit more water. Just because we got the fire going already, you know? Alrighty, let me... Let's go ahead and clean our rifle a little bit. We'll do a little tool maintenance while we're waiting on that. Drop that flare. Everything else is good. Alright, wait for this. Uh, we may end up just resting here for the night. Because it's already getting dark. Like it's tempting just to call it a night right here. See what the weather looks like. Could I could go ahead and search around here some more. We got this other cabin over here. I may or may not be able to go into. 
got that fishing shack, got these boats over here. Looks like there's three cabins, but one got burned down. Um, I got some birds heading that way. There's some nets here. What is that, stump remover? Okay, this is blocked. So if this guy's blocked, ow, 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 this heater is burning the living crap out of me. Canneries over there. We got the fishing check to check. I'm going to go ahead and pause the episode here, guys. Because I really got to use the bathroom. <laughs> um, it is unfortunate. I think there's some coal right there. Yeah, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause this real quick. And I'll come back and we'll search the rest of this. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.